Good morning. You're watching Backyard Bible. Well, that right there, that was my new friend, Rosie. She's visiting for a little bit. Today, I'm wearing my Hawaiian shirt because Tropical Storm Helen is here, or Helena. Anyway, the Tropical Storm is here, and uh, or at least the, we're touching that. A lot of people are praying today. They're praying in the deep south, either thankful that they were missed by the storm or that they got through it okay, or praying to God for help and guidance as to how they're going to handle the disaster that struck them. And uh, we need to pray with them. My question for you today is, do you pray? I mean, do you pray regularly? Uh, there's a lot of things to pray for, and it's important we do that, but do you do it regularly? Oh, you do it Sundays. So you pray every Sunday. Well, that's that's nice. That's a start. And praying every Sunday is a, is a good thing. I mean, we should be doing that. And, um, you know, but we have a little bit of work to do then. We're only praying on Sunday. Oh, you only pray on Sunday for the game. Okay. So it sounded like you were praying Sunday at church, but you weren't going to church. You're praying because you are praying for the favorable outcome of a sporting event and I don't want any of you guys out there none of you Eagle fans to take offense to this but I'm gonna ask you an important question and that is if you have faith in God to change the outcome of a sporting event to change the outcome of the football game something that really is totally unimportant in the grand scheme of the universe. And, and again, I don't want to, you to take offense to that, but it is actually the truth. There's nothing in the world that's going to really change if the Eagles win or lose. Uh, and I do feel that the team that prays to God, that's faith in God, has a much greater chance of winning than one that doesn't. But if you're willing to place your faith in God to change the outcome of a game for you, why are you not willing to place your faith in God to change your life? Something that actually does matter. Why are you praying about a football game when you should be praying about the things in your life that are important to you? Now, how often have you texted on, on your phone today? You know, how often have you made a phone call? Or, or more importantly, how often have you gotten on social media and made a comment or texted or, or said something or got advice from somebody or any of that? How often have you sent some emojis? Um, have you done that with God? See, he would love to hear what you have to say. And a prayer can be as simple as a quick little text message, but just one that you do to God. It could be quiet, silent, or it could be out loud so everyone can hear, like on a Facebook page. But the point is that if you have enough faith in God to change the outcome of a football game, and you're willing to ask him to do that, you should have enough faith in God to ask him to involve himself in your life. And you should be proud enough to talk to him about the things that you've accomplished and thank him for those and tell him what's on your mind and just have a conversation, even if it's like a text conversation. So that's what today is about. We need to pray for those people that were affected by the storm down in the south because some of them lost everything. And that's more important to pray about than some things. But prayer by itself is very important. And it doesn't have to be about world-changing things. It's okay to pray about the football game, but what I'm saying is if you're willing to do that, you need to also develop a pattern of praying for yourself and for the people around you and for those that are in need and for our country and for our church. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for the opportunity to talk to you directly. We appreciate you and thank you so much for helping those people that were spared from that storm. And please be in the lives of those who were not spared. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And until next time, that was a Tropical Storm Backyard Bible.